This video is brought to you by All Good Automation and the Energy Builders Network. Uh, I'm back in the shop and to show you my uh, HHO cell. This is the uh, EBN uh, 4N4 cell. Uh, this is the uh, uh, what I call the Rat's Nest uh, PWM slash current control and uh, voltage detector circuit that's in a uh, rat's nest uh, type uh, uh, breadboard uh, which will be in a circuit board fo form very soon. Here is the uh, the PWM coming out of the uh, that module and you can see I can adjust it down and back up here for your pulse width modulation and uh, here's the uh, voltage coming uh, out of this power supply simulating the voltage from an alternator. Uh, so I'm going to run that uh, voltage potentiometer up and down here. See, You can see the, the light going on and off representing the, the simulation of uh, an alternator uh, engine running and not running. So we're at 14.3 volts there. I'll drop her down here slowly here so you can see the the transition. Okay, there you go. So it's it's transitioning on and off right around uh, 14 point uh, six or 13.6 volts. Anyway, uh, we'll. Uh, this is the uh, two meters I have. The the one on top is the voltage across the cell and the one on the bottom here is the current going to the cell. The current going to the cell is actually in millivolts which is uh, read off of this shunt here which is 0.001 ohms uh, which gives me one millivolt per amp of current so uh, this meter will read uh, around 20 uh, millivolts which is equivalent to the 20 amps in the output circuit. Uh, Anyway, so uh, this uh, is the uh, FET that is connected to the PWM circuit that uh, controls the uh, the uh, voltage going to the cell and is uh, a PWM that can be adjusted from 0 to 100% modulation and uh, uh, frequency change from 100 hertz to 7 kilohertz. Uh, this is the uh, bubbler tower. This is not will be supplied in production. This is something that I've been just testing for a number of reasons. Uh, this is as a tangent to the uh, return into the bubbler uh, which helps spin the, the electrolyte in the bottom of the tube and uh, uh, get the bubbles out of the electrolyte as it comes from the top of the cell right here. The uh, bottom of the cell is fed right here and comes out of the bottom of the bubbler here. Anyway, and then uh, here of course is my hometer. Okay, let's uh, let's get started here. Um, I'm gonna have a hard time doing this, setting the clock and uh, uh, turning this on at the same time, but I'll give it my best shot here. Um, it'll be probably, the time will be off by a couple of seconds, but I'm going to go ahead and turn it on and start the clock. Okay, so we have uh, 22 and a half amps coming out of there, and as you can see, we've got some production here, and uh, our hometer is moving. And uh, we're at about Oh, I'd say 90% PWM over here. Okay. Here we we have about 30 seconds and uh, 625 milliliters of gas. Right there, there you got 50 seconds for one liter of gas. And the current at the end is 19.6 uh, amps at 11.02 uh, volts. 
going to the load. Now you have to remember that the, normally the uh, voltage to the load out here is going to be uh, around uh, 13 volts. I've got the two circuits separated to, so that I can uh, simulate the, the, the uh, output going on and off. Now if you notice here what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the voltage down and turn the output off and so I'm going to adjust the power supply down and you can notice that the current goes to zero immediately. See and now I'm at 13.2 volts and I have no current in the output but as soon as my voltage goes back up to 13.6 volts here we go there's my output is on and I have now 21.4 amps of current going to the output again um, the only reason I separated the output circuit and the uh, power supply for the detection circuit is so that I could simulate the uh, voltage detection circuit uh, during the normal run of course the, the power supply voltages will be from the same source uh, anyway this is uh, the circuitry that I've put together uh, uh, it will be uh, breadboarded uh, and uh, out to a PC board manufacturer very soon. Uh, but anyway, uh, here you have it. All good automation, re researching for Energy Builders Network.